Two top officials at Penn State University surrendered to police today, accused of covering up the crimes of an alleged child molester who had been on the staff of Penn State's famed football team. Michelle Miller is in State College, Pennsylvania. Ma'am, Mr. Curley, why didn't you call police? Penn State Athletic Director Tim Curley and Interim Senior Vice President Gary Schultz are charged with perjury and failing to tell police about the alleged sexual assault of a boy, perhaps as young as 10 years old, by retired football defensive coach Jerry Sandusky. The alleged incident happened on campus in a locker room shower. State Police Commissioner Frank Noonan. This is not a case about football. It's not a case about universities. It's a case about children who have had their innocence stolen from them. 67-year-old Sandusky has been charged with the sexual assault of eight boys between 1994 and 2009. All the minors participated in Sandusky's charity for troubled youth. But it was the 2002 shower incident that has called into question the reaction of Penn State officials, including 84-year-old coach Joe Paterno. A graduate student alerted Paterno the day after he witnessed the shower assault. Paterno told a grand jury that he passed that information on to his boss, Tim Curley, who in turn notified school vice president Schultz. State Attorney General Linda Kelly says no attempt was made to identify the victim or call police. And their inaction likely allowed a child predator to continue to victimize children for many, many years. A formal investigation of Sandusky began almost three years ago when the mother of a teenager called her son's high school to report Sandusky had sexually assaulted him. <laughs> Penn State tradition is built on integrity, football, and the legend of Coach Paterno. Now boosters and students are coming to grips with a scandal that could stain the reputation of their team and hero coach, whose motto is success with honor. With all the scandal that's going on in college football and college sports, I thought Penn State was immune to that, but I mean, I guess now we stand here and, it's, and we're not. Sandusky is out on bail and he's due back in court on Wednesday. The Pennsylvania Attorney General says that Coach Paterno is facing no criminal charges because he followed the law by quickly telling what he knew to his superiors about the alleged abuse. Scott, what she didn't say was if he had a moral obligation to do more. Michelle, thank you very much.